proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And Ellerslie is exactly that. It's the fire in which the pruning hooks and the plowshares are beaten into swords and spears. It's the time in which the mighty men are being drawn out. This is an environment to behold only one glory, and that is the glory of God. That is the glory of Jesus. This is a place that affords the opportunity to be set apart from the world. Because of the culture that we live in, it is next to impossible to do this. Ellerslie is not a Bible school, but it's a place to practice the presence of God. God has taken this environment and designed it to create people who are going to be willing to go out and live their lives and die and lose their lives for Him and wholly for Him. Ellerslie to me is literally built so that we can go out and take back the generation that is completely lost. It is the Keswick Convention of this day. We want to see a Christianity that works. I'd say another attribute that hallmarks Ellerslie is a spiritual pursuit. That we are not sitting by idly. We are after our God. We are hungry. We are eager. We are desiring the full benefit of the cross. If there was something gained at that tree 2,000 years ago, they may it not go without being found by us. Elesley is not only a Bible school. This is a place we can feel the sweet presence of God. We can see the Spirit of God moving and giving more understanding in the Word of God. This is a training ground where we are taught how to, to wield truth. It's a battleground where the enemy is vanquished and the power of God is seen. It's the cave of Adullam where we go in the presence of our king in the hidden place and we are safe there. It's the upper room in Acts where the group of believers in one accord sought God single-heartedly. It's a place where the flesh dies and the spirit reigns. This isn't about any man, this isn't about any leader, any personality, any charismatic traits and attributes. It is about the person of Jesus Christ is revealed in the Word of God. It is about the centrality of the Word of God, that we have something that we can build our lives upon and not be shaken. That we believe it is accurate and it is eternal. And that it is without flaw. And that as we study it, we are not studying man's opinion, we are studying God's Word. One of the reasons we have such a strength in our midst is we are not building on human philosophy. We are building on the Word of God. Hebrews 11, 32 through 34 says, And what shall I more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, sought the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, wax valiant in fight, and turned to flight the armies of the aliens. I believe that that verse captures perfectly what God is working through Ellerslie in each of us. Ellerslie is men being men and women being women it has to be one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Here at Ellerslie, we, we seek after the interests of, of Christ Jesus and His heart is our heart and like the blood's crying out of just injustices across the land and our heart is crying out as well and we get to share um, in His sufferings, we get to walk with Him and it, it's just so beautiful and, and such a privilege. You know, we're learning so much here and we're seeing God move and it makes you want to go seek God by yourself and in your closet. And it's a huge blessing. And this is all about Jesus Christ. This isn't about our 
cultural, uh, social justice issues. This is about Jesus Christ, of him being high and lifted up. We're not humanitarians here. Even though we care deeply about the, the poor, the impoverished, the, the widow, the orphan, we care deeply about being an intercessor, a strong man or a strong woman for those that are weak. However, our motivation is different than what most people are motivated by. It is the glory of Jesus Christ. We want him to be high and lifted up and to be seen. Everything is about Jesus Christ. We believe that. And everything pertains to Jesus Christ. And every issue in life is solved in Jesus Christ. This is about Jesus Christ. Now that may sound like a very obvious thing when you're in Christianity, but for some reason, we have a thousand things that we turn to outside of Jesus Christ. But we here at Ellerslie believe that Jesus Christ is our all in all. We're being called to be the one who stands in that gap to be that intercessor. This is a place where we are being trained to become strong so that we can become poured out. Ellerslie isn't something that can be described with one mere word. Ellerslie is a training ground, a place of rescuing, a sanctuary, a place of healing. Ellerslie is a place where human flesh is bulldozed and Jesus Christ built his foundation. Ellerslie is the abode of death and the abode of new birth. It is a place where self is eradicated and there are only eyes and hearts for others. Transformation happens here. Darkness becomes light, weakness becomes strength, and humans become image bearers of the living God. The outcasts find love at Ellerslie. The orphans find shelter. The hungry find food. If your flesh is looking for safety here, you will not find it. Our flesh is put to death and spirit is born. Ellerslie is far more than a Bible school. Ellerslie is far more than a seminar or training. Ellerslie is literally a place where you lose your life and Christ gains you. If the church will return to acknowledge that the Holy Spirit is her strength and her help, and if the church will return to give up everything and wait upon God to be filled with the Spirit, her days of beauty and gladness will return, and we shall see the glory of God revealed among us. This is the time that God has appointed for us to live. He has a calling on our lives, and what Ellerslie is about is about training us up to be conformed to His image in His way. And yes, you will find difficulty, but if we're really honest with ourselves and we're really willing to admit it, that's what we've been searching for all our lives. We've been searching for that grand adventure, and the truth is that the adventure has nothing to do with us or this place. It has everything to do with God and His calling on us. We believe that the gospel challenge and the gospel commission is absolutely impossible. But even though we can't perform it, He can. And not only can He do it in and through us, but He delights to do it in and through us. And so He asks for us simply to yield our lives to Him, to become a conduit of His grace, so that He can show forth to this world His preeminence and His glory in and through the weak and feeble channel known as us. And that is the mystery of the Gospel. Ellerslie is a place in which men and women come face to face with the living God. It is a place where men and women see the indescribable glory of God. And in that moment, we must choose whether to bow our knee and yield ourselves wholly and completely to Him, or to spit in His face and continue on ruling our lives. In that moment, when you choose to bow your knee to Him and proclaim, I must decrease that He might increase, and to shout out, not my will, but thine, the Lord comes in and takes His rightful place upon the throne of your life. Elizabeth is where you come, where you die, and where Christ lives. In the midst of growing in that absolute adoration and great affection for the Lord Jesus Christ, He brings you to this place where you do not desire what He can give to you. You do not desire what you can get from Him, but you only desire Him. Desire.